It was like one day, just out of the blue in my life, as I'm finishing an album, I have to have eye surgery, I find that out. And I'm looking online for a title, and I read about how the opal could mean the evil eye. People believe that, and it was bad luck. And I finished the last recording, which was Kings and Sailors, released the album, and went into eye surgery within a couple hours. The album is basically a bunch of different stories about different types of people in different situations and I have a lot of skateboarding friends and that are really into that scene and I think just we build off each other. I, they come to the shows and support me and I'm always out watching what they're doing and keeping up with that and I think it's really cool to pursue your friends interests as well as your own. My main goal in playing is to free people to hear something they haven't heard yet. And that's what I always work the hardest at doing is making something that no one's heard yet. I'm really into uh, westerns. I really like western films and the whole idea of the old west. So it's kind of an image I'd like to to have. I think the eye patch definitely fucking helps. Yeah. Did <laughs> you? <laughs> I, uh, I'm really into a lot of the 50s sound. Stuff you can make really stand out with uh, minimal equipment. I really like Shaky Graves and stuff he does. And Bombadil is one of my favorite bands. I started recording when I was 16 or 17. I bought equipment and it took me years to figure it out. You know, I'm still not that good at it, but it's good enough for me right now. Happy with sitting in my bedroom and uh, laying down some tracks.
right now I'm working on recording a handful of songs that I didn't use for Oppo and a handful of, of new songs I'm gonna pick and choose which ones that I want to do on that EP and record that in my house. Thank you.